Okay, what will it take for the Israel-Hamas war to come to an end? Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has laid out his three conditions for peace in a new Wall Street Journal op-ed. He says, in order for peace, Israel must destroy Hamas, demilitarize Gaza, and de-radicalize the whole of Palestinian society. That sounds like a tall <laughs> order, given yeah. everything that's happened uh, since uh, October 7th. Uh, he's got Ron Dermer here, his longtime ambassador to the United States, Israel's longtime ambassador to the United States, eight years, uh, Netanyahu's right hand. And the question is, he's at the White House, he's talking to, to Jake Sullivan, he's talking to other people, what's next? The war winds down, let's say, a month, the really kinetic portion of it. What does it look like? Who administers Gaza? Is it the Palestinian Authority, which everybody's rejecting? Is this an opening, I'm going to say it, for the two-state solution? Did it take something like this to make it happen? Scott. Um, I, I think that the two-state solution has got to be on the table. Uh, the U.S. actually has been uh, backing the Palestinian Authority to lead it. They're, they're, that's certainly been rejected. But if you look at those three objectives that Netanyahu laid out, they're going to be at war forever. Yeah. How do you change the culture right. of the thinking well, of a people, if you well, will? Well, let's be very clear. Benjamin Netanyahu will not be in the long-term planning of whatever comes next. Because, because he's so long -term long -term. his time is up. Yes, right. Frankly, exactly. I think a lot of what's going on right now is because his time is up, and he doesn't uh -huh. want his time to be up, and he's thinking he could well, run out I mean, out his time has been up before, and he's come it's back. His so. time yeah, is up now. Is... I mean, if, you look at, if you look at the attitude of the Israeli people towards you Netanyahu, you still blame him for done. the October 7th attack. And, and rightfully Absolutely. so. Yeah. yeah. And there are and families, the money for Hamas. hostage families mm -hmm. that are, are still yeah. posting and heckling uh, mm -hmm. Netanyahu at his public appearances. And they accidentally killed three hostages, yeah. if you will. So yeah. well, politically, yeah. he was in trouble before. You still have the criminal charges that are pending. And you get a sense that what is left to bomb in Gaza, quite frankly, if 20,000 pe innocent people, whoever you believe or don't believe, what is there left to do? Strategic right. start. Well, they're uh, not going to stop until they kill every single person yeah. that's on that is film. That yeah, yeah, but, I, but yes, that's I, not I, a I, policy. There's 20,000 hours worth of film from those GoPro cameras yeah. Yeah, that were okay, they're born gonna, they're that They're going to find every one of those guys? I guarantee They haven't Israeli eliminated Hamas yet. Let's show those three, three prerequisites again that he wrote in the Wall Street Journal. Hamas must be destroyed. Gaza must be demilitarized. Okay, maybe uh, you can do those things, although it, 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 you know, it's an it's a urban jungle in there. Palestinian society must be de-radicalized. That seems like a big red flag saying they're, there's, they're never going to stop. So I think, you know, th there's something else that we kind of have to focus on here, and that is what Israelis' goals are are going to be different than what the U.S. goals are. Sure. Particularly with this administration. And so for so long as Netanyahu is there, is there and even whomever succeeds him, whenever that may be, Israel's view of this is going to be markedly different than uh, what our view of, is it, of it is going to be, and especially, by the way, within the democratic circles, right? So I think sure. Republicans are much more aligned with where Netanyahu may want to see this head, but I think it's really difficult for the Biden administration to negotiate anything with, the, with Netanyahu. Well, one more thing, because I know we have to go, but I, I think that what they're saying privately to Israel and the <clears throat> leaders in Israel uh -huh. is much different than probably what's being said publicly. Thank you for watching, and make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.